While the Detroit River is often seen as the last stop on the Underground Railroad for slaves escaping to Canada, few know that Michigan was itself once a slave state. Because of that mythology and me thinking of Detroit as kind of being the promised land for African Americans in their quest to reach Canada, I had never envisioned it as being something that would be a place of them being enslaved. Mm -hmm. University of Michigan professor Taya Miles and her team joined Digging Detroit to share their research on Detroit's early days, when a loophole in the Northwest Ordinance permitted slavery to continue well into the War of 1812. The records indicate that Native American women were actually being used um, as unfree concubines. The team's findings led to the creation of an interactive Google map and shed light on a diverse makeup of Detroit's slave population and the famous names of the slave owners. William okay. McComb was again another large slaveholder in Detroit, a very wealthy man um, who had a list of slaves among his papers. Join us as Professor Miles' team shares its amazing journey and the inspirational story of one former slave who became a wealthy humanitarian.